They want to follow you until you get up there. All those oldies, man, took me back to my uh, took me back to my uh, childhood when I was growing up in the uh, Baptist uh, community. Mm -hmm. All those old songs, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, good songs, good songs. Where the deacons would lead devotion. Remember that time that mm -hmm. they come, the, de the deacons when they would lead devotion, they come oh, yeah. moaning and groaning. <laughs> mm, you don't know what they. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. but, but ushering in that spirit, though. <laughs> Greater to the Lord, a hand clap of praise, if you would. Amen. Amen. We had a great time yesterday at uh, Must Ministries, man. Yes. Man, God is blessing over there. Great time. A lot of love, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we had the devil last night. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get into uh, our, uh, our message for today. I want to entitle this, What Are You Anointed? For what are you anointed for? Ooh, I don't look at Judges three again. We were in Judges three last week, if you remember. We're going to be Judges three, looking at verses seven and eight as we uh, as we uh, endeavor to see what it is that the Lord has for us today. This is our year mission, and this is our quarter of. Knowing the mission. This is our last month of our quarter of knowing the mission, our mission. Uh, so we should all know the mission by now. Yeah. We should all know the mission by now. What's the mission? Seek sure. <laughs> 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 God, God share Jesus, 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 serve Seek God, share Jesus, serve Seek God, serve Jesus. So we start with God, right? Seek God. You can't go to God without Jesus. You can't serve Jesus without serving the people, right? Amen. So seek God, share Jesus, and serve people. Does anybody not know this? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's in the announcements. All right, so when you got Judges 3, go ahead and stand on your feet. We'll, uh, we'll read that. Uh, I'll pray, and then I'll uh, have you seated, and we'll see what uh, does say the Lord. I'm anxious myself. <laughs> All right, looks like we're almost there. All right, let's read. Judges 3, starting at verse 7. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and forgot the Lord their God, and served Baal and the groves. Therefore the angel of the Lord was hot against Israel. And he sold them into the hand of Cushan Rishathaim, king of Mesopotamia. And the children of Israel served Cushan Rishathaim eight years. Pray with me if you would. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you again for this morning. We thank you for your love and your mercy and your grace. We thank you for watching over us all week long, Lord God, and for many a hand of protection be with us. We thank you that you supply all our needs according to your riches and glory. And today, Lord God, even though we lost an hour, even though uh, some of us are still confused about the time, uh, you allow us to be in your house one more time. We said this is your house, Lord God, and it should be called the house of prayer. So I thank you, Lord God, that we opened up today with prayer. I thank you, Lord God, for the praise and worship, even those old songs that we sang today, Lord God, just, I don't know, they just do something to your spirit. So I thank you for that. I thank you, Lord God, for the opportunity to be standing uh, in the pulpit, Lord God, holding this mic uh, and addressing your people. So let your word go forth, Lord God. Let it fall on good ground. Let us be hearers and doers. And allow us, Lord God, to get something today that we can use and apply. And even share, Lord God, as we seek to share your word, Lord God, as we could uh, continue, Lord God, to seek you, to share Jesus, and to serve people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and give the Lord another hand clap of praise if you will. Okay, so this, this is not your mission. So what is our mission? <laughs> See God, Jeff Jesus, serve here. All right, all right, all right. All right, and so the uh, the announcements always have the, um, at least they have, like, anyway, they have the, the verses that are tied to those, uh, to those parts of our mission, right? Seek God according to Matthew 6 and 33. Share Jesus according to Matthew 28, 19 through 20. And serve people according to Matthew 25, 31, <coughs> 40. 
What is our vision? Do we have, does anybody know our vision? You started to say it earlier, right? <laughs> say it with me. We are committed and dedicated not to a church, church pastor, or religion, but to you, Lord Jesus. Our seeking of you today will be greater than our seeking of you yesterday. We will share you today and every day, everywhere, with everybody, and serve people as if we are serving you. Amen. Amen. I like that. I like that huh? What's our core values? Love, Love joy, 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 peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, <laughs> temperance, right? The fruit of the spirit, yeah. right? And, and that should be every uh, Christian's core values. We should all bear that fruit. Amen? We should all be bearing that fruit if, we, if we're Christians, right? Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible tells us, all right? Uh, our opening text tells us that the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. It tells us that they forgot God, that they served Baal and the groves, the uh, idol worship, right? Uh, that they uh, angered God, that he was angry, and that his, his anger... Uh, was hot against them, amen? Uh, so he allowed the children of Israel to be conquered by the Mesopotamian king, Kushan-Rahathim, for eight long years. That's a long time to be in bondage, amen? That's a long time to be in bondage. Kushan-Rahathim, his name means twice wicked, Kushan. Or it can also mean double darkness. He was an evil, wicked guy. And so they uh, got into evil. They got into wicked. They got into idol worship. And God allowed them to do so. And even allowed them to be under a wicked and evil king to allow them to continue their idol worship. Yeah. Amen? Amen. You, you know that Kushan, Rehathim, he was not forbidding them to, to, to kneel down before Baal. Yeah. He was not... Uh, uh, forbidding them to have idols in their house. Amen? He, he was promoting that. Right? Amen? 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 Amen. So when we um, offer ourselves to sin, we, became, we become uh, slaves to that sin. Right? And it's like a vicious cycle, the same cycle that the Israelites are on. Right? Amen? They sin, they go into servitude, uh, they get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Right? Yeah. So, so we got supplication, they pray out, they cry out to the Lord, and then uh, their salvation. It's the same vicious cycle that we are on today. And so wherever you are at on that cycle, whether you're being sin, whether you're being servitude to that sin, or whether you'll be um, in supplication right now, crying out to the Lord, that's him to save you, or, 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 or in salvation, which is where we want to be. Amen? We want to be in that salvation slot. We want to be in that salvation uh, part of that cycle. Amen? The Bible says that we all sin and falling short of the glory. So I, I can't go a day without sin. Whether I sin in, 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 in thought, or in, deed. in word, or in deed. Amen? Because uh, God, God sees all that. Right? What we talk about Wednesday night, the fact that God sees it all. He said that you, you, you're sinning before my eyes. That's what he said in uh, Isaiah 65 or 66, right? Yeah, 66. 66, yeah. And so that's what we talked about, the fact that God sees it all. There's nothing that I can do in secret that he don't see. I can hide some stuff from my, from my wife. I can hide some stuff from my kids. I can hide some stuff from my church family. But I can't hide nothing from God. He, he sees it all. Amen. And he knows it all. But he still, he still wants to use us. Amen. He still wants to use us. And I, and I would say that if our mission is seeking God, serving, uh, sharing Jesus and serving people, that he has anointed us to do those things. Amen. Amen. I mean, he wouldn't send us on a mission without giving us what we need to fulfill that mission. Amen. So that the, at the end of the thing, I can't stand before God and say, hey, I would have did what you wanted me to do, but I wasn't equipped to do it. Right? Uh, it's the same in, in, in the, uh, uh, at the sheriff's department. My job is to get them guys what they need. Right? Mm -hmm. they, if they're out there on, on, on patrol and they have a gun, and it's a gunfight, then, then who's failed? I failed, right? <laughs> If they out there without a bulletproof vest, I fail, amen. So, so my job as a as a as a uh, not even a spiritually, yeah, in 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 the, in the natural sense, yeah. is to equip those guys. How much more is, is God's job to equip us? Amen. And He said that He won't He won't deny us the Holy Spirit. All we gotta do is ask for it, mm -hmm. amen. If we lack anything, He's gonna give it to us, amen. We're talking about the fact that if I'm a if I'm a father and my my son comes to me for something, I'm not gonna give him a snake or a rock. Right? How much more is God willing to give us the Holy Spirit? 
Amen. That's that anointing that, that, that will come upon us and allow us to be able to do what God wants us to do. When we sin, uh, as opposed to, as, and when we serve sin as opposed to serving God, we become a slave to sin. Some of us are in bondage today. Amen. Some of us are in bondage to alcohol. Some of us are in bondage to marijuana. Some of us are in bondage to, to cocaine, to nicotine, uh, some to sex, some to violence, some to porn, some to uh, caffeine. And some might even be in sin too, are, are in bondage to, to uh, that, that old, uh, good old, nothing wrong with sugar. Amen. Yeah. I might have to have a sugar uh, hit every once in a while. Amen. Amen. Uh, to, to my uh, diabetes and my, my poor health, I might have to uh, allow sugar. <laughs> To, to, be, to be my uh, nemesis or my, my uh, uh, what, what is it that, uh, that, that Superman has, that uh, kryptonite, my kryptonite, I want my kryptonite, amen? amen? And so whatever it is, uh, when we, whenever we talk about bondage, we talk about defeat, amen? Mm -hmm. That's a life of defeat. If I'm, if, I'm, if I'm in a life of bondage, I'm in a life of defeat. And that's what the book of Judges is. It's about, it's a book of, of defeats. It covers about 400 years of the Israelites' uh, history, amen? Uh, and if you read through it, you'll, you'll notice that, that uh, several terms are repeated throughout the book. Amen. Amen. Uh, for example, and the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord is in there seven times. And then seven times. Uh, every man did what was uh, right in his own eyes is in there a couple of times. Amen. The anger of the Lord was hot against Israel is in there four times. The children of Israel cried unto the Lord is in there five times. Amen. Mm -hmm. So when you look through the book, you see these... Uh, phrases being uh, in there over and over because uh, of that cycle, that sin cycle, amen? They sin, they go into servitude, then they uh, get sick and tired of being sick and tired, amen. and they cry out to the Lord, that's that supplication, and then God's going to save them, amen? That, that's what God does. That's what God does, amen? So it's a vicious cycle, and they're on that cycle, and we're on that cycle as well, amen? We're on that cycle as well. Um, the Bible tells us, uh, as we read further in, in, in the book of Judges, uh, chapter uh, 3, verse 9, as we continue, uh, it said, And when the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord, that he raised up a deliverer to the children of Israel, who delivered them, even O Ah. Niniel, Niniel, probably saying that wrong. The son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother, and the spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he judged Israel, and went out to war, and the Lord delivered Cushan Rashathim. I'm saying that right. <laughs> King of Mesopotamia, uh, unto his hand, and the hand, and his hand prevailed against Cushan Rashathim, and the land had rest forty years. And O Athenah, the son of Kenaz, died. Amen. And so, uh, when, when we come to that place of supplication, God's always going to send uh, a deliverer. He's always going to send a deliverer. And, and in the book of Judges, every time they cry out, he raises up a judge, uh, and he sends them in to deliver his people. The, 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 the name O Niel, it means God is might. It means that God is might. Uh, he was the first judge of Israel. They had never had a judge before in the history, the whole history of uh, Israel. And he was the first judge, right? Uh, he was the first judge. And Kushan Rathenau was the first oppressor that they had since they went into the land, uh, since they had occupied the land of uh, Canaan. He was the first oppressor. All right? And Atniel was the first deliverer. Amen. So you had a, a couple of things that had never happened before, mm -hmm. right? Uh, he has somewhat of a controversial lineage. He is a uh, Kenan, Kenanzite, Kenanzite uh, which means that he was in the land, or his people were in the land before uh, the, the, the Israelites came in. As a matter of fact, around the time of Abraham, he was in the land. If you look at Genesis 15, 17, it says this, And it came to pass that when the sun went down, and it was dark. Behold, a smoking furnace and a burning lamp that passed between those pieces. If you remember this, this is when uh, God makes the covenant with Abram, right? Changes the name Abraham, etc., etc. But the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, Unto thy seed have I given this land, from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the great river Euphrates. And these are the people that are in the land, the Kenites and the 
Ken Nezites, which is what uh, our guy was or is, and the uh, Cadmonites, Camonites, and the Hivites and the Perizzites and the Raphims, and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Gigarites, Gergasites, and the Jebusites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were all in the line. And so the Canaanites were in the line, which means that if he was a Canaanite, he he was a Canaanite, right? Mm -hmm. He was he was uh, not an uh, Israelite. He was an outsider, amen. Right, so his family starts off as a Gentile, as Gentiles. But by the time we get to Judges three, he is a um, he's he's tied to the tribe of Judah, uh, twice twice removed, right? Once by the marriage of uh, to Caleb's daughter, and once as Caleb's nephew. So he's both uh, his nephew and his son-in-law. <laughs> Caleb is, uh, or he's Caleb's nephew, and Caleb is his father-in-law. So, uh, way before God raised him up to be a judge, he had already uh, set himself aside as a leader. If you look at Joshua, and we won't go there, I'll just tell you about it. Joshua 15 and 17 says that he defeated, he volunteered to defeat uh, Kareth Sephar and, and win the, the hand of uh, Ashok, uh, Caleb's daughter in marriage. So he had already established himself as a leader. He was a, a, a known leader. He had a reputation as being a leader. Amen. So uh, he was he had the right character, he had the right reputation, he, he was brave, he was courageous, he was faithful, he had uh, God's hand upon him, he was raised up by God, he had the Spirit of the Lord upon him, he uh, allowed God to live him. He had all the uh, attributes that you would want to see in a man of God uh, as a leader. He had all those things. The only thing that he that, 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 that might have been against him was the fact that he was a Gentile. Amen. He had Gentile lineage. Amen. And he was the first Gentile leader uh, to be put in place over Israel. It had never been done before. He was the first one. Amen. He was a Gentile. And there had never been a judge in Israel before. Amen. But God raised up Othniel to be a judge and used him to deliver his people. Uh, Othniel was anointed to deliver. That was his mission. Amen. He was anointed to lead. And he was anointed to follow God. I mean, y'all know we got to be anointed. We got to have the Holy Spirit to be able to follow the Lord. It's, it's hard. It's, 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 it's going against everything that's logical. It's going against everything that your flesh wants to do. You didn't want to get up this morning and come to church. Amen. I didn't want to be studying all weekend. Amen. Uh, it's going against everything that, that, that's, that's mentally logical and everything that your flesh desires to do. Amen. We, we want, we want, this flesh wants to be happy. Amen. This flesh wants what it wants, and it wants it now. Amen. We got the, that microwave flesh. We don't want to wait uh, five years from now to get what we want. Amen. We want to wake up with it. Yeah. We want to go to bed with it. We want to lay down with it. We want to, we want to have it when we want to have it, what we want to have it, and how we want to have it. Amen. Amen. What, what the world will say, we only live once. Amen. Amen. The world will say, just, just do it. Amen. Amen. If you can think it, you can do it. Amen. It's yours to have. Amen. So what, what are you anointed for? Uh, you're, you're anointed for all the things that God would have you to do, mm -hmm. which makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. God has put us here. He's made us. He's fashioned us. He's molded us into what he would have us to be. And he's put into us what he needs to have in us to have us do what he wants us to do. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's that anointing. Amen. Whenever we get saved, we get the Holy Spirit within us, right? Yeah. Amen. We, we get saved, we give our life to the Lord, the Holy Spirit comes in, it resides in us, Amen. rests, rules, and abides, but do, do we follow it? Amen? Am I uh, completely obedient? We know that the children of Israel are in the position that they're in because they, they had partial obedience. And God says, when I bring you to the land, I want you to destroy, utterly destroy everything that breathes in, in, in the land. But they don't. Right at the beginning of uh, chapter three, we get a list of uh, of the people that they didn't that they didn't drive out, that they didn't utterly destroy. And God said, "I'm gonna use these people. I'm gonna use these people to test you. I'm gonna use these people to train you. I'm gonna use these people to teach you." Amen. And so I'm not gonna get rid of them. You had the opportunity to drive them out, but you didn't. Last last week we talked about the fact that God said, uh, Jesus said that if you have the the, the faith. Uh, the size of a mustard seed, you can, you can say to this mountain, be ye removed, and it'll get up and it'll go. Amen. Amen. So God will say to us, you should have driven out those uh, individuals when you had the opportunity to, but because you didn't, I'm going to use them how I want to use them. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so when we have the opportunity to uh, utterly destroy uh, those habits, those issues, 
those circumstances and we don't do it, then God sometimes use those to, to teach us and to train us. Amen? You, 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 he says put down the cigarettes, you don't put down the cigarettes. Amen? So now he uses nicotine to, to, to train you, to teach you. Amen? To try you, to tempt you. Amen? And you, he says don't, don't take that, that shock, but you take it. And so now he's using alcohol, perhaps. Amen? But whatever that, that demon is, whatever that mountain is, a lot of times, that was a place and a point in our lives when we could have spoke to it and it would have removed. But now it's, it's, it's a mighty mountain, it's powerful, and, and we can't do it. Amen? And so where are we at on that sin, that sin uh, uh, cycle? Where are we at on that? Amen? We're sinning? We're in servitude? Or are we supplicating in and, and, and that salvation stage? Amen? Where are we at on that? Right? And so, um, wherever we add on it, we got to realize God wants us to know that, that he's sent the deliverer. Right? He's, he's already sent the deliverer. And the deliverer has already paid for our sins. Amen. Amen? So whatever I did yesterday, whatever I do today, whatever I do tomorrow, it's already been paid for. Right? Uh, it, it would be like, uh, it would be like my daughter Jasmine is going to go to the basketball game uh, next week. Don't get mad. You went to some games already. <laughs> Yeah, right, so, but, but, and I sent her the tickets, right, electronically, you can do that, all right? So I sent her the tickets, she uh, accepted them, and she put them in her uh, uh, wallet on her phone, right? Y'all know, know, know what I'm talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about, right? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all electronic, right? And so now when she goes to the game, she can buy a ticket when she gets there if she wants to, right? She can, she can pay whatever, whatever it costs to get a ticket, and she can, uh, she can go in using that ticket, or she can use the ticket that's already been purchased for, right? Why would she go to the gate and say, uh, I got these electronic tickets, but you know what? I'm, I'm going to just go to the back pocket on this, for my purse at. Why would she go in her purse, get out X amount of dollars, give it to uh, State Farm Arena, get some other tickets, and go in with those tickets, but she can go in with the tickets that I already gave her. But that's how we are with God, right? Amen. I don't want, I don't need Jesus, Amen. right? I got Buddha, I got Muhammad, I got Allah, Allah. Uh -huh. I got all those things. I don't need. I can, I can get in like this, yeah. right? But, but He's already paid the way, and He is the only way. Yeah. She can get in the game several ways and through that, several gates, right? My favorite gate is Gate Five, Amen. right? Gate Five. Gate 5 is the most expensive gate, though. <laughs> right? But when you park at gate 5, you got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, about, about 8 steps to get in. And if it's cold and it's raining or you got your grandbaby with you, you don't want to be walking the locks. Because you can. You can park way over there for $20. Or you can park at gate 5 for X amount, and they keep going up. <laughs> It was 45, then it was 75. I don't even tell you what it was last time I went. But 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 it's right there. Right? It's expensive. It costs a lot to get in gate five. But there's other gates you can get in for cheaper. But with this salvation thing, there's only one gate. There's only one door. There's only one way, and it's Jesus. So if I try to get in any other way, I'm not gonna make it in. I'm not gonna make it in. It's only one way, and that way is Jesus. And so, for the children of Israel, Israel, God raises up a deliverer. His name is Othniel. And Othniel means God is might. God is might. God told somebody, he said, it's not by power or by might, but by my spirit. God is might, but, but he's not going to use his might. He's going to use his spirit. And when his spirit comes upon Othniel, Othniel is able to deliver the children of Israel. Right? So when he comes, uh, and all we got to do is ask for the Spirit. Right? That's what the Bible says, if, if you lack anything. You know, you ask the Father. And he'll give it to you liberally. Right? And so if I don't have the Spirit, I can ask, I, I can ask Lord, just give, me your, just give me your Holy Spirit, Lord. Let your Holy Spirit come upon me, Lord, so I can do this thing that you want me to do. Amen. So I can do this mission that you have called me to, and, I, and just anoint me, Lord God. For leadership, anoint me, Lord. Whatever that mission is, whatever that vision is, whatever it is, the, the purpose why God created you, he, he wants to anoint you for that thing. But he can't do it if I'm over here high. 
He can't do it if I'm over here drunk. He can't do it if I'm over here at the uh, uh, strip club uh, making it rain. You know. He want to pour out the spirit. I'm over here make, pouring out some 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 of my hard earned money. Amen. And making it rain. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so God wants to use us just like He used Athena. He's raised us up for that purpose. All we have to do is be willing and obedient. He said, if ye be willing and obedient, you, you eat the fat of the land. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. He won't withhold anything from those that love him. Mm -hmm. If we delight ourselves in him, he'll give us the desires of our heart. Mm -hmm. Amen? So I don't have to chase that other stuff. Yeah. Amen? I can park at gate five, take eight steps, <laughs> and be in the game. Or I could be trying to get in all these other ways. I could be trying to pay my own way in. I could try to be good enough to get in. I could try to be holy enough to get in. I could try to be rich enough to get in. Because, you know, money can buy anything, right? <laughs> I could try all those things, but all I got to do is turn to Jesus. Amen. All I got to do is cry out to Jesus. And when the children of Israel cry out to Jesus, what does he do every time? He raises up a deliverer, and the deliverer delivers the people. It's the same with us. He raised up a deliverer. Jesus got off his throne. Right hand of God, right? Sitting on the right hand of God. That's the right hand. What's his right? Wherever the right hand is, where you sit. Right? Sitting on the right hand of God. He said, you know what? I'm going to go down there for Jason. I'm going to go down there for Emmanuel. I'm going to go down there for Mary. I'm going go down there for Dad. And I'm going I'm to I'm take off this. Right? I'm going to get up and I'm going to go down. He came down through 41 generations. That's what the Bible says, right? Yeah. Came, virgin birth, mm -hmm. walked this earth for 33 and a half years. Yeah. And then he allowed people like us, probably would have been us if we would have been back there, to nail them to something that looked like this. And he hung on it for six hours. <coughs> and then when he was ready, he gave up the ghost. Yeah. Until thy hands I can make my spirit. They took him down and buried him. Three days later, mm -hmm. he was up walking around. Okay. Amen. And then he went up and sat on the right hand of God again. Oh, great. What did he say on the cross? It is done. Meaning it's paid in full. It's like he took a stamp on your bill, my bill, your bill, and just stamped it. Done. Paid in full. We bought some furniture the other, what, a couple weeks ago? And it was, they stamped it. But it took him three weeks. <laughs> it took him three weeks to get us our furniture, man. God ain't like that. Hey, man, I can go to God right now. It ain't got to be Sunday. It ain't got to be Wednesday. Man. It ain't got to be a church tent revival. I can be in my car driving and say, and call on the Lord. The Bible says that whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. I don't have to be in a building. I don't have to be in a, in a, in a I could be overseas somewhere. There's people overseas right now going down in the name of the Lord. Coming back up. Amen? I, I've been there. I've been to places. <laughs> Amen. Amen? And they don't need, a, they don't need a, the, the River Jordan. They don't need a bap, bap, uh, bap, baptismal pool. I mean, I, I didn't baptize people in, in, in my bathtub. Amen? I remember us going out baptizing somebody at Lake Alcuma. Yeah. Yeah. That nasty lake. <laughs> 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 but we don't, we don't need the River Jordan. Right. We don't need to go to Israel. Amen? We can call on the Lord right now. Mm -hmm. And we can be saved. Amen. So wherever we are on that sin cycle, we got to get to that supplication part. And God's going to do that salvation thing for us. Amen? The Bible says that he, he went in, he, he uh, uh, defeated the king, and for 40 years they had peace. But then the last sentence says that he died. The sentence after that, you ain't got to look. What, what do you think it says? Again, the children of Israel sinned in the sight of the Lord. So they, 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 they were in that salvation cycle, and they, and they were prospering. They were being obedient. But the minute that leader died, they went back to their sin. What does that tell you? They, they were committed and dedicated to, they were committed and dedicated to the pastor, to the church, or the religion. Yeah. That's why our uh, vision says that we are committed and dedicated 
not to a church, pastor, or religion. You, you, you don't, don't, don't follow me. Amen. Amen. It, when we leave this place today, we're gonna all get in our cars, right? Amen. If you follow me, you ain't gonna make it home, right? <laughs> yeah. You won't. You won't make it home. You be at my house. Amen. Right? Yeah. If I follow you, I won't make it home. And we all want to make it home. There's mm -hmm. only one that we can follow to make it home, and that's Jesus Christ. So we're not committed and dedicated to a church pastor religion. But to you, Lord Jesus, our seeking of you today will be greater than our seeking of you yesterday. We will share you today, everywhere, with everybody, and serve people as if we're serving you. That's our vision. Mm -hmm. And if we do our vision, then we'll complete our mission. That's what Othniel did. He, he did his vision. He completed his, his mission. And they had 40 years of peace. So you know he was working every day. All right? He wasn't taking no days off. Because he knows when I'm gone, they're going back to sin. Yeah. So we got to be dedicated. we got to be committed. But it, not to me. Not to this church. Not to Christianism. But to Jesus Christ, I want to say. Amen? Amen. Amen. Go ahead and give my applause. Praise you.